Hi there, I'm Joe Wheaton for City Search. We're here tonight at the opening of the Melbourne International Film Festival, mingling with some of the industry's biggest names. Eric Banner, Geoffrey Rush and cult director George Miro are all here tonight, along with a star-studded lineup of local and international talent. Let's go and check it out. What films are you planning on seeing at the film festival? Um, I'm planning on seeing the Lionel Rose documentary. I mean, there's a mixture of films for everybody, and I think it's such a feast to view them the films. I think you've just got to go and dip in and try. Well, I want to see Not Quite Hollywood tonight, and I've got a checklist, but I'm not going to tell you the others, because otherwise I won't get free seats. I plan on uh, seeing uh, Hunger again. I saw it once in Cannes, and it was an amazing film. But not Quite Hollywood. looks like an absolute hoot. <laughs> I think it'll be interesting tonight, because... Uh, People have been trying to coerce me into seeing Not Quite Hollywood in the screening rooms, and I said, I really, I really want to wait until there's a full crowd. Look, we've just had a look at the program, and coming out of a week of long work, I'm just going to take anything that comes, and I'm really looking forward to what happens tonight. I haven't gotten my schedule yet, so they have me on a leash. Oh, I see. I wish I was free to just see movies. I'm trying to, fa- to, see, to watch some of the Oz Exploitation movies. I want to see also one Hedwig Young movie that I've never seen, and also one of the George Romero movie from the 70s, the craziest that I've never seen. I love very much George Romero movies. I actually thought that I'd be able to cover most of the film festival, but then I had a look on the website and saw there's about 40 things happening a day, so I'll be taking what I can get, I think. Lionel? Uh, definitely Lionel, yes. That Lionel Rose, a doctor on yes. Lionel Rose. Hunger? Yes. The, um, which is about the uh, hunger strike in uh, an Irish prison. What films do you plan on seeing? At part of the festival? Mm-hmm. As many as I possibly can. Mm-hmm. I saw a fantastic documentary called Celebrity, which is playing at the um, festival. There's uh, quite a number of films that I want to see. I'm really excited about tonight's film. And uh, what does the Melbourne International Film Festival mean for Melbourne? Well, you know, it's a, it's a great cultural event, but I, I think more to the point, it just means a lot to us as filmmakers. It's, it's a great opportunity to come together and see the sort of films that would otherwise not make it to mainstream cinema. I think now it's, it's, it's not just about the films on the screen, it's about being a forum to discuss what films can we make, how can we how can we fit into the international film community? So it's not just a film festival, it's a film forum. And I think it's very... And it wasn't like that in the old days. It means a lot for um, filmmakers who are on the rise um, because they get to have a place to show their short films because short films don't traditionally have a, um, a place to be shown. So Melbourne's... It's great for that. Look, it's... Uh it's the same as what everything means though. Every time something comes to Melbourne, it, it just builds the vibe of the city and then uh, makes it a great place to be. So yeah. I can't wait to watch this. It's going to be great. I don't know. I've never been before. It's my first time. Okay. So um, I think it's great to bring, you know, culture into the city, more culture into probably the most cultural city in the country. Look, I think Melbourne does it really well. Uh, it's a film festival that has credibility and kudos. It gives us a chance to see the kind of talent that's emerging and also to get a bit of a sense of the new directions in film. It's beautifully, it, it's beautifully done. The people are wonderful. It seems very well-intentioned, and uh, so far it's been great. I've been once in Australia with my previous movie four years ago in Perth, but it's my first time in Melbourne, so I'm very happy to have the opportunity to show my movie to an Australian audience because I think it won't be released, commercially speaking, in there. So it's now or uh, never. I've been to a few of the openings, and this is the... There's a real buzz about this time. It's starting to really hit, get momentum. I think it's marvellous and it's beautiful that it's particularly opened on a Friday night, which is a perfect Melbourne night. We came in with the footy crowds, we had the bagpipes playing, and we were going to see a film about um, Australia's film history. So it gels quite nicely. What does the film festival mean for Melbourne and for Australian, the Australian film industry? A lot of people in the city wearing skivvies and bros. <laughs> Drinking free alcohol. Yeah. No, I think it's good. I think it's great that uh, at the at the opening of MIP we can have an Australian film. I think that's a really uh, a great start because so many times we we come to celebrate Melbourne International Film Festival and just see a film with Katie Holmes in it. What does the International Film Festival mean for Melbourne? Oh, look, it's an incredible and cultural event. It enables us to see films that we wouldn't get a chance to see and enables us to celebrate film in this... You know, we love films in Melbourne and um, let's hope they love my film.